This week on Did Y'all See, we're talking about black people wearing African clothing, the single mother who was made a meme on Facebook, and how a baby ended up with a teenager's toe in its mouth. Get into all this tea on Did Y'all See. Hello, good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to another episode of Did Y'all See? Today we have a little bit of a surprise. Someone else has an announcement. Who could it be? Be. Oh, that's me. I'm <laughs> engaged. <Yay! Yay! laughs> Turn up. She's getting me. Yeah, me, me, but a ring one. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you ready? Yes. Okay, is you going to be different now that you got your ring? No, girl. Okay. The same on me. Same All on right, we're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> All right, so did y'all see this picture of this baby sucking on someone's toe? Now, y'all know, this is just, it's just ridiculous. To even say it is ridiculous. But what happened was uh, a teenager was working at a daycare in South Carolina. And this person, it's a girl, right? It's a girl. Thought 15-year-old girl thought it would be cute to not only stick her toe into a baby's mouth, but to take a picture of it and upload it onto Snapchat. But y'all know what's done in the dark always comes to the light. So the mother found out about it and raised holy hell. Because, you know, the question of the year is really, where, where is the daycare, Arnold? Where, like, where is she at? Mm -hmm. For for a teenager to really just be out here like yes. sticking the toe in all that fungus in the baby's <laughs> mouth, uh, then you upload it with these crying emojis right. like it's a joke, it's and it's not. And you know, like other people are like, oh, you know, well she's still a kid. It's like, no, you're not a kid. You're a young adult. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you don't do that. I just think uh, too, like, you don't. At 15 years old, you know better. Yeah. At 15 years old, you're in 10th grade. Mm. Like mm. you know this is wrong. Mm -hmm. But I, they they say that the the daycare provider is a really good woman. They say she comes highly recommended. But I'm sorry, I'll be handing out ass whippings like straight up. Yeah. Like it's it's nothing else to say because I don't know if they're gonna they can't really do anything to the child mm -hmm. or you know the teenager or whatever. Because right, I don't know if there's if there's anything they can do legally even. The only way to rectify this situation is an ass whipping, and then we even. <laughs> Um, I just feel like if it was me, I don't know how I would handle that. That that daycare might have had to get burnt down or something mm. because that's just that's just nasty. I'm like, why are you trying to sexualize things for a child? Mm. Exactly. So you know, they don't know what they sucking on, what they doing. They just trying to find nourishment, and you out here like, it's like these young people out here will like live and die by social media, yes. like everything to get somebody to be laughing, to get some attention, and then it's like. Their mothers or whoever come out like, she's a good person, they're a good person. I mean, you could still be a good person to be a jackass. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, mm -hmm. and you could still be a somewhat good person to somebody and mm -hmm. still be doing horrible things. Right. So it's just like, I know she probably, for her to even put it on Snapchat, she did it to, for to be cute, yeah, for attention. Right, exactly. These kids, it's just like, social media, it's, I always say, it's just like ruined a lot of things and a lot of people because it's just like, you just go out of your way to be seen mm -hmm. and to be the funniest and to be doing, and it's just nasty. I'm like, it's a baby. Like, and people leave you, and you thought this wasn't gonna get back right. to anybody? Right, right. Stupid. Like, that's how stupid you are at 15. Mm -hmm. Like, let me do this real quick, ain't nobody even gonna find out, but I put it all over the, the Man, internet. Right. Stupid. Stupid. Did y'all see, there was this African writer, she lives in um, Europe, but she's of African descent. I'm not exactly sure which country, West African. But she wrote that while black Americans are calling out white people for appropriating our culture, they should really be looking at themselves, flash the mirror, and see how we're appropriating African culture. And she was saying how she went to Afropunk and she saw somebody with like a Fulani septum mixed with something else, mixed with something else, with something else. And she was like, you know, there's just a lot of ignorance in the way that black people wear African um, clothing and African accessories and the, all that type of stuff. And she was saying it's appropriating the culture. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think it is appropriation or do you think it's different because African Americans are, you know, of African descent and particularly West Africa. So what do you guys think? Um, I, don't think I think it's different because we are of African descent. And as an African American woman, I don't have a lot of ties to Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm reaching for things. Like, you know, our culture is a blend of, you know, what we learned about, you know, Africa, what we learned about since we've been here, mm -hmm. you know, different you know, customs that our families have created since mm -hmm. being stolen from Africa and shipped here. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what am I supposed to 
draw from. And I think that creating this type of division is mm -hmm. like really counterproductive and it's, it's really petty and ridiculous. Oh, I was so sleep about it. Um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say sad. He said sleep. <laughs> what you call, like, it's like, what you're feeling? Yeah, and it's a tired feelings. issue. Even if someone, I just feel like it's one of those issues where they kind of, it's still this divide and conquer issue that they keep perpetuating and it's really just to make yourself feel better and there's I think there's one thing to be like prideful mm -hmm. but then there's another thing to try to isolate other black people mm -hmm. and try to make them feel less in and I think that's what they perpetuate continuously and even like I said even if you had the right attire on and you did it correctly and then it would have been oh well you don't know how to make this or you don't know how to speak to you or you don't know how to you know like it, it would have it would have been something so whatever. I literally had somebody who you know moved here from a part of Africa I'm not really sure which part she which country she told me like you're not African-American I'm African-American mm -hmm. I came from Africa I don't know what you are mm -hmm. and it's like what? Are you crazy? But it doesn't say it doesn't say Nigerian American. It's African American. Right. You can look at me and tell I'm African. Okay, I'm, I'm, where I'm else African I came descent. From? But homie, you still a nigga in a coop, and the cops pull you over. So what's the problem? What's what is this really about? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this really yeah. about? It's like a, we're, you're not we're saying all nothing. oppressed, and mm -hmm. we start oppressing each other mm -hmm. to to deal with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I think it's an interesting um, conversation. I guess um, it's always really interesting for me because I'm like. I'm Nigerian, but I was, like, born here, and my dad is not very big on, like, when we were growing up, he wasn't very big on, like, passing on certain customs. So to some Nigerian people, I'm not Nigerian enough. Mm -hmm. And to some Nigerian people, I don't look Nigerian. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. I mean, whatever. Like, you know what I know what I am. Mm -hmm. I've been to Nigeria more, time, more times than a lot of Nigerians have been, <laughs> have been so, back. So good night. So, <laughs> so good night. But at the same token, I'm like, you know, there are moments where sometimes I feel like, when you see people wear like a full, like traditional wear, it's like, I don't, I don't get like mad or anything. I just find it interesting mm. um, because I do think a lot of that stuff is worn for different important reasons. Um, but I, at the same token, like, I don't know 100% everything about mm -hmm. my dad's culture and where I come from. And mm -hmm. I can't speak the language fully. I can speak, you know, some Edo, but I don't, I'm not 100% the most African person in the world. Mm -hmm. So I could never look at somebody and be like, you don't need to be wearing that, and I can't tell you 100% why, but you shouldn't do it. Like, I just don't, I don't, it's not that big of a deal. Yes. It's like, don't do that. If you have a problem, fine, write something else about it. Like, have you ever, I, you know, I was ever punk and I felt some kind of way. Fine, but don't be like, black people stop trying to feel, it. don't yeah. tell me how to feel. Yeah. And you don't live here. <gasps> but that's, that's my thing. <laughs> yeah. You live in Europe. Not even. Southeast Asia, she didn't say the country, okay. and on her blog, she has a lot of things that I'm pretty sure an Asian person will say she's appropriating mm -hmm. Asian culture. Mm -hmm. So that's like just the really that. interesting yeah. thing about that particular me, it's, author. It's just, like you said, it's just, to me, it hurt my feelings. Exactly. Like, it hurt my feelings. Like, we, there are so many of us who have no idea. No clue. No idea where we come from, what is ours, what's not ours. So, my thing is, if you're African American anyway, you already are a whole lot of mix of different tribes mm -hmm. and, and, and ethnicities and countries and all that type of stuff. So, my thing is, if you do your research and if someone asks you about a piece, you can say, well, this comes from X, Y, Z, and they use it this way, and I'm doing it this way. Like, that's not, that's not to, the, to what you were speaking about. That's not the same thing as a white person mm -hmm. taking something and making money off of it and still disenfranchising that community. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that's not what black people are doing when they wear those, mm -hmm. when they wear the African dress. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand where the argument really came from. You don't even see that you're attacking your own people. Right. Because at the end of the day, we are all the same. We're all from the same region, the same region. Yeah. Whether you're Caribbean, whether you're American, whether you live in Europe, we're all from the same region of Africa. So why would you look at your own people and, and turn your nose up at them? <laughs> Did y'all see this meme going around about this single mother? She has one, two, three, four children. And the meme says it's like having a 2015 car with 200,000 miles on it. Y'all, when I saw this meme, I was just like, yo, I wish people would stop acting so stupid. Like, the days of you remind me of my Jeep are over. Like, stop comparing. Okay. I meant to ask y'all, what y'all think about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about through with certain people, mm -hmm. certain men on Black social men. media. Black men on social Hello? media. Hello? That's the vagina police. Mm-hmm. Putting up memes like how many y'all can say y'all got your own walls? How many y'all can say y'all got edges? How many like <laughs> when did my value become so tied to my vagina? Mm -hmm. So closely tied to mm -hmm. my vagina. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this 
some ignorant Negro saw a cute, light-skinned chick. Mm -hmm. That's why she's a 2015 car mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with 200,000 miles. You don't want her because she got all them damn kids. Like, you sound so ridiculous. Yeah. And it's always the niggas that don't get no play. Mm -hmm. The niggas that nobody's checking for, mm -hmm. that's putting out hurtful stuff like this. Why you got mm -hmm. this woman kids out here like right. this? Do you even know, like, if she has a man? You know what I mean? Like, no, no, there's no, a lot no, of no. facts missing from this story. <laughs> and I think also the really disappointing thing that I just have to say about men, because I usually don't, like, get into, like, the whole, like, arr, oh, men type of thing. Oh, but, like, God. some of y'all don't know how to wash yourselves properly, but seem very concerned about if women have walls mm -hmm. which is like like biologically like what that's not about? even relevant exactly. and who's like and you know what you don't have to be with her that's that this is the thing i don't get with men it's like you see someone mm -hmm. and okay like if if what she has does not fit what you're going for mm -hmm. you just don't have to be with her Thank you don't you. have to like shame someone on the internet Greena, and that's the we thing see that we don't would never even look okay like that, but i'm not gonna make no meme about you but all your 15 kids. Amen. Okay. But no job. And it's just no degree. Like, it's the ones that's le that are lusting after unrealistic women. The ones mm -hmm. who, your woman crush Wednesday is a stripper every single week. Mm -hmm. Like, bruh, she don't want you. You yeah. ain't got money for the strip club, B. Like, come on. It's you. just always the, it's always the ones that nobody wants that are doing things like this. Yeah. And when you look back, when you learn their family history, mm -hmm. and I'm saying this because I know somebody who's Go on ahead. this wave. Go ahead. It's like when you get to know their family history, you realize y'all all a bunch of broken men mm. who were never taught the value of women, who were never mm. taught, you know, your daddy, dog, and your mama. It always goes back to the whole social media thing. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to be the clever motherfucker who makes a <laughs> meme, who, who photoshops the hell out of mm -hmm. something and has everybody laughing mm -hmm. or doing something. It's such a, a quest for some kind of uh, uh, shine or yeah, acceptance fame. or that's, something that's minutes. right. I can't get acceptance from her, mm -hmm. so I'm going to get acceptance by making fun of her. Yeah. And it's just so damn lame. And at the end of the day, it's like, you know how many times people tell us as women, black women specifically, that like when you're trying to find a good man that mm -hmm. you need to like settle for a motherfucker who already got like yes. three kids. Yes, yeah. but when it's the other way around. So right, then it's like a 2015 car with 200,000 miles. But we be the main ones out here like, yeah, so and so I'm dating this person. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he ain't got no kids. He ain't got no kids. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. and we've been the main ones trying to, and I'm one of the main people who be trying to tell my friend when she meets somebody and he's a really good person mm -hmm. and he has a kid or mm -hmm. one or two. Like, well, you know, this is the day and age that we live in. Mm -hmm. Men might have kids. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be so harsh. Mm -hmm. But these are the same dudes who turn around and be out here like, she got all them kids. I got to get a motherfucking daddy. Like, why do you jump to conclusions? Who asked right. you to be somebody's daddy? Right. Who asked you to do anything? Right. I don't want you. Mm. So it's like, it's just a shame. It's just a shame. And it's a shame that she had, they could have blurred her face out too. Mm -hmm. Like, you just put me on blast in an attempt to be funny. And no, it's just girl, ridiculous. I blurred the kids' faces out. Those kids' faces was on, wow. was on social media full, full. I didn't know that. And you wow. dogging my mama like that. And like you dogging me. And you dogging so me. You, you making me seem like I'm a burden. Exactly. Like, I'm a joke. And that's what I said in my piece. I'm like, when you make fun of someone who has all those kids, who has a lot of kids, it makes it seem like the kids are a joke. And that's right. not how she views her children, obviously. And not only that, you just shouldn't have kids on the internet trying to make some joke off of a kid. That's whack. It's whack. Like, we need to go past the days where we, where we got... Well, we we'll be talking about women as a car and with mileage. How many miles you got? Okay. okay. Just because you don't have kids, I mean, you don't have no miles. Okay. Right. But not only that, if she has all the miles, that is not her value as a right. woman. That is not to say it's what she can bring, what to the, mm -hmm. what to the, what she can bring to the relationship. Stop all that. And it's so sad to me that it's so many black men putting out this foolishness. So that's it for this episode of Did Y'all See? Be sure to let us know what you think about these topics and more. And also for more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Madam Noir.